All right, so in this video, I'm going to go over some hand independence exercises. So before we even get into the exercises, let's just talk about what is hand independence? What does it mean for your hands to move independently of each other? Well, have you ever tried to rub your head and pat your belly or pat your head and rub your belly at the same time? That is hand independence. It is the ability to let your hands do their own thing right? Without worrying about what the other is doing. So in the piano, right? That's rhythmically. We want to be able to keep a certain rhythm with our left hand while doing a totally different with our right hand that doesn't interrupt what our left hand is doing, right? So it's really being able to keep things steady and in control. So the first thing to remember is if you're a beginner pianist, or, you know, if you've been playing less than a year, understand that the physical coordination to build you know, the skill of playing the piano, building your hand independence, that is just something that takes time. So it's not something you're going to have mastered in one year and two years and three years, just like anything at the piano. You're never going to master it. But if you're still a beginner, you've only been playing for about a year or less, you got to just kind of accept the fact that your hands are still learning, you know, how to move and build their coordination. So anyways, so let's get into three exercises that we're going to go over that are going to help you develop your hand independence. If you're really, really struggling, these are some simple exercises that will help you. Now remember, simple does not mean easy, right? Simple just means they're not complicated, but they're not easy necessarily. So they will take time to work at. And remember with any exercise, it's important that you go slowly, right? The goal with an exercise and with a piece, and especially with hand independence, is to keep a steady tempo. So I'd rather you go really, really slow and keep a steady tempo than try and go fast and make some mistakes. So the first thing we're going to do is we're just going to play a C chord with our left hand. And what we're going to do is we're just going to bounce that four times. So think that there's a basically a metronome on and just let these be essentially quarter notes, right? So our left hand is just going to bounce with each one like this. And what I want you to do is really just build the steady tempo. So definitely use a metronome so you can really hear when you're playing with the click and when you're not, because we want to develop that steadiness there. Once that gets steady, keep it going, and I want you to add in your right hand in a C position and just play each note like this. that'll be your first exercise. And now these exercises can be switched right and left hand. So then you'll do the same thing in your right hand. So that is your first exercise, right? We're bouncing our left hand and our right hand is just doing steady half notes. So quarter notes in our left hand, half notes in our right hand. Now what that's gonna do, right, is we're starting to just see that our hands can have two different rhythms going on and they don't need to be connected. Our hands are thinking, they have their own brains, they get to move on their own. So that's really what we're building here. So now this, you know, that is an easier exercise, right? Because we're never playing anything in between the left hand beats, right? We're not doing anything like this. which is your next exercise. So we're gonna keep that quarter note rhythm going here and we're just gonna do eighth notes now in our right hand. And you can go up and down as many times as you want, right? We can switch order here. The goal is just to really get your left hand bouncing and your right hand doing steady eighth notes. So once again, you can do both hands that way. So this is just second exercise still, just now switching hands. Now, if I turn on the metronome. Same idea. So I do recommend doing those with metronomes. Now, the third and final exercise is going to be a little more tricky, right? We're still going to keep that quarter note bounce here, but now we're going to add basically a dotted quarter note in our right hand with an eighth note. So it's going to go...
right? So right there, that D there is an eighth note. So it's quarter note, quarter note, quarter note, quarter note, quarter note, quarter note, dotted quarter note, eighth note, like that. So with the metronome, right? So that's it. So now we're adding in that offbeat rhythm in our right hand, right? dotted quarter note to eighth note and now we can do the same thing in our left hand same idea right so I know these can seem simple but I want you to be able to master all three of these and then build speed with them so eventually your goal should be able to get these you know at 120 beats per minute or so That's the second exercise, right? And the third exercise. Right there. So simple things. There are three great exercises you can do every single day. Now, even if you feel like you've mastered these, keep working at them because you're still always developing. Even if you do the same piece, the same exercise, you're always improving. So don't feel like you always need to move on to next things and to other things in order to improve. You can stick with the same piece for a month, for a year if you wanted to, and you would still discover new things and new ways to move your hand. So, you know, be sure to be patient with these. All right, so that is all for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe and comment below on this video if you have questions or about any other topics you would like to see covered. Um, if you have any questions, you can email me. That's digitalpianoschool at gmail.com. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you soon.